Thank you. We are here today to celebrate this sad, joyous occasion and to extend love to the family and give love to the family because that is what Congressman Conyers would want. He would want us to cry and shed a couple of tears, maybe a lot of tears, but then he would want us to get up. He would want us to get up and keep moving forward and keep living the life that he fought so hard for us to have. Because that fight still needs to continue. When we read through his accomplishments, his fights for civil rights, his fight for equal rights, his fight to uplift us out of poverty and be a part of this U.S. Constitution. He fought every single day for someone else. He didn't fight for himself, but he fought every single day for you and I. And I thank his family for so many days and nights that he was away from home when he couldn't be home for dinner or he couldn't be home to go to the baseball game or the basketball game, but he always watched the Pistons play. But I thank the family for letting him make those sacrifices for us. We were his family, and we still are his family. And how lucky were we to be in a time living in a city where Aretha was singing, Motown was here, Rosa Parks, John Dingle. I mean, how lucky were we to have these pillars living in this city at this time? And I won't forget Nicholas Hood. I was talking to Governor Blanchard, and it reminded me of, again, not only the luck that we had in this city, but I can't think of one city or two cities, Chicago and Detroit, that has truly changed the world from a arts, music, political standpoint, manufacturing, economy, all those things that he fought for, guess what? They happened. And we thank the congressman for that. And we thank the family for that. And truly, God bless you. The love that extended to the congressman, it is also extended to you and we will bathe and shower you in love on this day and this day forward. Thank you, keep smiling, and the big homies going home. <laughs> Thank you.